Hi, good morning. Welcome to my bedroom for potentially the last time. If you're interested in my whole flat hunting process and what led up to it, that'll be a separate video. Today's focus is packing up and moving. I've been procrastinating this for way too long. It is now around two weeks till I have to be fully gone from here, which seems like a lot of time. However, I'm going away next week. I've got two shifts at work every week up until my move. So I calculated it and realistically I've got around five days until I have to be fully out of here cleared and I've basically not done anything. So today's the day that I start packing up my room which makes me very sad. I've been trying so hard to keep everything up the way it is for as long as possible but the time is coming. I really need to get all my stuff packed up. I will try to keep most of the room intact as long as possible and I, I'll start packing up like the things in my storage closet. First thing is actually getting packing boxes because I don't have anything. Right now I guess I can get started on putting things into suitcases but it just makes me very sad. I'm getting so sentimental and emotional looking around this room and just thinking about the fact that it took me so long to get it just the way I wanted and I was so happy to move here and I've been so happy living here and now I have to pack it all up into a new room. Plan is I'll grab my suitcases now and I'll pack as much stuff as I possibly can into them and that'll probably take me a while and then once I've packed all of them down I'm sure I'll still have loads more stuff to pack up. I'll go around to a few shops and collect some boxes from here hopefully. Yeah it's very bittersweet. There's good things coming and I'm very very excited for the new flat. <music> I don't even know what to start with. It feels like I'll need everything and I don't know if I'll be able to pack away for like realistically a week or two. Okay, I definitely won't be needing my winter trench coats, hopefully. <laughs> of boxes stuffed in our storage closets full of seasonal decor extra art supplies clothes i don't wear and i need to look through all this because i've accumulated the stuff because we've got so much storage but now, now i need to contemplate whether or not it's even worth transporting all this stuff to the new flat if i never wear it these shoes i think i wore them once and they were so uncomfortable and i just <laughs> cannot justify moving them yeah, I need to look through all of this because there's a lot here. boxes and packages I definitely have got packed so far there's so much stuff I need to carry to the new flat I actually cannot believe this is happening today like in my mind I've been kind of preparing for this day and it's not like I'm even moving everything today like I'll just be doing some stuff but then my room still looks kind of the same as it did in the past I'll still be living in this flat for the next few days at least so it's just a question of like moving all the stuff that I have already packed and all the furniture and all the things that'll be hard to move on my own it's starting to feel like this is happening I don't know if I'm fully mentally ready for the move yet like I started feeling quite anxious about it I was I don't know what it is specifically about the move or maybe it's just like the move itself but a friend coming over to help me move all this stuff getting an uber and then hopefully 
bringing it up won't be too much of a hassle either because I'll have some helping hands there as well. So that's the stage that I'm at. Just waiting for my friend to show up so we can pack all of this up into an Uber and take it to the new flat. I've got a little bit of final packing to do before we get the Uber. It's an awful house and I want it to get you out I'm working on a plan right now To come through I've waited for a lifetime for you To calm down Oh, nothing feels the same without you I'm getting so close to finally moving out. I'm literally wearing the same outfit I was two days ago because everything's packed up. Like, <laughs> moving out is no joke. It really is testing my limits on how few items I can actually survive on. Any chance I get to be like near the new flat, I pack things up and I bring it over there so that I have less stuff to carry down the line, <laughs> which is nice, don't get me wrong, but I'm very, very limited. It's basically like packing for a trip just in reverse, so like taking out all the items that I know I can survive without, but with every day, it's obviously becoming less and less and less items. It's so weird being in my bedroom without my nightstand. Like, I just have items piled on the floor. Things are obviously slowly disappearing from my room. I've been trying to keep it intact for as long as possible. Like, I've kept up all my photos, all my images. But I'm pretty much at a stage where most of the bulky things have been taken out. It's just a little bit sad to be seeing my beloved bedroom so bare and so empty. Yeah, it's definitely a bittersweet feeling. I think as much as I really don't want to and it's really hurting me, it's time to take down all these photos, the ones on the wall. <laughs> I need to take down my curtains, all my fairy lights. I think all of that has to go today. It'll definitely be a little bit of a painful process, <laughs> at least emotionally speaking, because I'm very, very, very attached to some of these. But I guess there's no point delaying, time to get started. feels like the most final thing out of the whole room. I have put up and taken down my Polaroids in different arrangements, different sizes in every one of my Edinburgh flats. It's always been something like this on my wardrobe and I plan on continuing that in my new flat. Okay, time to take this baby down. Mm -hmm. 